Hey, hey, everybody, Brock Frady here, helping you enjoy your ride. Right now, I'm sitting inside a 2023 Lexus 500H Performance. This vehicle is $72,000, but don't let that stop you. <laughs> because at the end of this video, I think that you will agree with me that this thing could just be worth the 70 plus grand that you would have to pay for it in order to put it in your garage because it's got unbelievable features, not just features, but performance. This thing absolutely has chops and it is such a blast to drive. So let's jump right in right now to a full review, inside, outside, front, back, engine, and drive of the 2023 Lexus RX 500H Performance. But before we get started, I would like to say a huge thank you to Flo Lexus of Greensboro in beautiful Greensboro, North Carolina, for the opportunity to film this RX. I'll be sure to leave all their contact information, including their website, in the description box below. You really owe it to yourself to come take a look at one of these things in person, specifically the 500H with the performance package. It is absolutely incredible. It looks so much different in person than it does on the computer screen or even in other videos. It's just got this, this feel about it, this look to it that's kind of intimidating, but also like race car like, but just filled with luxury. Obviously, I wanna start with that front end. This is a continuation of the Lexus spindle grille design that Lexus has had out for a number of years, but this is like a spindle body also. The whole angular motif continues all the way to the very back of the vehicle, and we'll take a look at that in just a second. Take a look at this right here. This piece, this black piece that kind of outlines that piece on the inside, and then you've got this mesh look here with a spindle continuation from the middle grille. You have an LED fog light there headlight washers here. Plus it's all LED all the time with this vehicle. This thing is fully loaded. So you have the triple beam LED headlights. You have the LED daytime running lights, the big Lexus L right there. And then of course, LED turn signals and all that. That is just absolutely incredible. I love that look. Your Lexus logo right here, dead in the middle and all of those angles just really come together nicely to make this thing look absolutely awesome. I love the wheels, the graphite wheels here, and this is sitting on 235-50R21. These, are, of course, are mud and snow because they say M and S. Look at that huge brake rotor right there. Of course, that's ventilated so that uh, it'll stay cool during more spirited driving. And then you have that huge, I think that's a six piston caliper right there with Lexus on it. I would actually like to see that caliper in blue since this is a hybrid and, and Lexus associates the color blue with their electric or hybrid vehicles. I love the black on top. It's kind of a black sandwich look for the uh, door handles. We'll talk about that in just a second. And of course you do have a panoramic moonroof. Very, very cool. Now coming around to the back, you have that continued contrast black and white um, motif here in the back with the spindle grill continuation from the front. That's really just for looks. That's no function, but it looks really, really cool. There's a black thing right here. No function, just look. Your logo for the vehicle is the RX 500H Direct 4. Then you have that beautiful LED light that goes all the way across the back of it with the how Lexus has done the uh, instead of the L on the back now they have Lexus written out I think that is such a good look makes it look so much more distinguished and luxurious check this out right here this black part Lexus has had this for a number of years but look how it flows it just absolutely flows along the side of that body that's a really good look so the exterior of this thing is super angular, super muscular looking, and it just looks really, really cool. Again, I recommend really coming to see this thing in person because it looks so much different in person than it does on video or picture. Let's pop the hood and take a look at the heart of the beast. So what do we have here? You are looking at a four cylinder engine. Now I know what you're saying, four cylinder on a vehicle this big. Well, 
It's a turbocharged four-cylinder and it has it has a little help from friends. It's got an electric motor up front. It's got an electric motor in the back. By the way, that electric motor in the back produces 108 horsepower by itself. So that actually is going to give it a lot of a lot of chops. Uh, you're going to produce a 366 horsepower and 406 pound-foot of torque when you combine together the four-cylinder engine, the front motor, the back motor, all those things. It has a six-speed automatic transmission, multi-gear transmission, and that's unique because all of the hybrid vehicles to this point have had a continuous variable transmission, a CVT, and that, that gave it kind of a drony feel, but this one has the legit six-speed automatic transmission, and that's super nice. It has the very, very cool and new Direct4 all-wheel drive system, and you're actually really gonna feel that when you drive this thing. Overall miles per gallon, 27 city, 28 highway. Not too shabby in a vehicle that's got this kind of size and this kind of horsepower available, 366 horsepower. Lexus says it'll do 0 to 60 in 5.7 seconds with a top speed of 130 miles an hour. Towing capacity is 3,500 pounds and the overall weight is 4,751 pounds. So that is hold and below that is hold. The first hold is for the rear door. The second hold is for the panic alarm. When you approach it, all you have to do with the key fob on your person is pull the door. It has an electronic latch behind the door because this latch doesn't actually move. There's an electronic latch behind. It's just a little push button that opens the door. Then when you're finished using it, there's a dimple right here on the door handle. You can just touch that and it locks all the doors. Let's take a look at the back. Press and hold for the rear door to open for you. So here is the back of it. Here is your removable tonneau cover. I like this because it's got a really kind of a big bridge to it, so you don't actually have to pull it back as far as you used to for the old tonneau cover style in the Lexus vehicle. You can see where it's wider in the back than it is toward the front of the rear portion. Then you have this back mat that says F Sport, embroidered nice and big and beautiful right there. Big, big speakers in the back. That's part of the Mark Levinson stereo system. This one also has the power folding rear seats. That is absolutely awesome because this one is fully, fully loaded. So this one I think is going to have heated and um, air conditioned rear seats as well. Then you have a portion here that's a little bit more storage and that's uh, going to be where your tire is. There's also a battery back there as well. So that is your rear portion and then the way you can lower this back down is to push this button here or you can do it via your key fob. Let's hop in and take a look at the back seats. Now normally the way this would work is I would have the camera outside the car and I would shoot from one side or another showing you the full back seat and everything with my legs and all that stuff. But as soon as I started to set up the camera, it started to rain. So I don't want to damage my equipment. Therefore, we're sitting here like this, but that's okay. I'll show you the leg room and everything in just a second. But this thing actually has power rear seats that are heated, that are ventilated, and the back seat is just as good as the front seat. At least your rear passenger, our passengers are gonna think that. The only thing about the driver's seat that's better is that you get, actually get to drive this thing. But the back seat is actually super, super nice. There's a little handle right here, or a button right here, a switch, and look, power rear seats. And so this is, that's back all the way. That's really super nice. Now, you incorporate the great big panoramic sunroof in with all of the space that this thing has back here, and it makes it feel super roomy. This actually has a half inch less rear seat room than the old RX, but you can never tell it. I mean, half inch, who cares? There's tons of headroom. Look at that. I'm six foot three, and I feel totally fine. It's going to be a little bit cramped for three people, but this feels wonderful. Now, I'm going to take the camera off the tripod and I'm going to show you my leg room and some other things about this back seat, but this is super nice. So here you go. Take a look at the inside of that door. Look at that cross stitching. Look at the uh, beautiful uh, suede feel like right there. Oh, that's so nice. Mark Levinson audio. There are just speakers all over this thing. Then you have, of course, you have your lock and unlock contrast stitching there. There's your push button for the door handle to release, to get out. This is all you do to open. Isn't that nice? 
Then there's a little bit of a storage uh, thing here. God, listen to that thud when you close the door. And this is the back seat, imagine that. Then you come over here and you see the, all of the controls for your rear climate, for your heated three-way level heated seats, three-way level ventilated seats, power points, then your air register right there. I love how you have the suede material here. And uh, usually I say the back seats are ventilated just to match the front, or the, but they're not actually cooled, but these are. And that's, that's an extra charge there. Then you have a center console here with storage plus cup holders. So this back seat is actually super nice. I would not be upset at all to have to ride back here. So now you can see the driver's door. You can see this beautiful suede soft touch material here, Mark Levinson Audio, contrast stitching, all that beautiful angles that cause all of this just to work together so well. Soft touch materials here, more contrast stitching. There's your door handle and of course all of your locks and your window controls. Beautiful driver's seat here in the F Sport model. This is such a nice seat. I've sat in it for just a little bit, but gosh, I can tell already it's just such a going to be such a wonderful experience to drive this thing. All those beautiful bolsters, suede material there again, all the all the different panels that incorporate that just make this thing look such like such a good seat. F Sport right there on the headrest. That's a super sporty headrest as well. Of course, the seats are ventilated and heated, so that's all super nice. Over here on the panel on the left side, you have your driver memory seat system that incorporates your steering wheel and your seating positions, fuel, back door, and then odometer and trip, plus your gauge brightness. You can see there's some piano black materials here with the beautiful like a like a dark metallic brushed kind of a muted look there turn signal stalk here with the automatic high beams then of course there's going to be your power uh, tilt and telescope steering wheel with this little arm right here on the left side and then you have your paddle shifters right here is a very cool thing this out automatically monitors your face to make sure that you're watching the road at all times and it'll warn you to let you know if you are distracted even if you don't know that you are these are touch sensitive and they work in concert with the heads-up display let's take a look at that right now so on the left side of the steering wheel is going to be a multi-directional keypad on the heads up display right now, I can see what this is, is doing. It's not displayed here in the speedometer like it normally is. This is all in the heads up display. That takes some getting used to, but I do like it. And then this is a multi pages icon. I'll show you what all this is look, looks like because what I'm gonna have to do is focus on the heads up display in order to show you all this. And then on the right side is gonna be all of your driving safety systems and everything. So this is adaptive cruise mode. This is also lane tracing assist and then another multi-directional keypad. And this is all about safety. Another pages icon is going to be right here. So let's take a look at what the mult at the uh, heads up display looks like and I'll show you how all of these work. So right now what you see in the heads up display on the left is P that's for park zero miles per hour. And so on the right side you can very faintly see the, the radar cruise control. And so on the left side of the steering wheel, what I'm doing right now is touching the multi-directional keypad, up, down, left, and right. Touching it left, and now I'm cruising through your radio stations. So pushing it left, pushing it left, pushing it right, pushing it right. Down here is going to be voice commands. This is volume up and down right there. And so you can see the volume of the radio is now at zero. Pages icon down below that flips the audio thing. And so now it's audio track. And so now it's, it's a different function. So isn't that cool? So that's all the left side. Now I'm going to switch over to the right side. So now I'm pushing the multi-directional keypad display, average speed, elapsed time, energy monitor, audio, navigation and so I can press up and down also after that to move the position of the heads-up display you see that there we go that's actually a little bit better 
God, this, this heads up display is just something else. It's so very, very clear. And then this is going to be adaptive cruise control. So when you push this uh, adaptive cruise control while you're driving, it, it activates that of course. And then lane tracing assist, that's the, that's the system that sees the lines on the road and will actually move the steering wheel left and right to keep you inside of your lane. And then I'm pushing the pages icon here and that changes the display. So now here is following distance. And so that will lengthen or shorten the distance that it's going to maintain between you and the vehicle in front of you. And then here's mode, adaptive cruise mode. And then I can go to mode and I can push it again, cruise control mode, adaptive cruise mode. Again, this is going to take some getting used to because you're going to be using your cruise control or you're going to actually be controlling your cruise control via the steering wheel. That's normal, but you're going to only see the readout of your cruise control in your heads up display, not on your dash like you were normally used to. So that is one thing to note. That is the way Lexus is going now in heads up display. Now here is the display that is right in front of you. What would normally just be your regular speedometer. So you can see down there at the bottom on the right, it says ready. That lets you know that the vehicle is ready to drive because the engine's not always gonna be on if it's in battery power because it's a hybrid. You can see on the far right is your fuel gauge. Uh, up top is the clock at 306. And then down below that is gonna be all of this safety equipment or your uh, lane trace and your radar cruise and your following distance and everything. You can see the little green EV icon that lets you know you're in electric vehicle mode. Then distance to empty is 420 miles right dead center under park is going to be your turbo. And so that lets you know your pounds per square inch, your PSI of your turbo, your boost essentially. And then you also have your temperature gauge on the right of that. Uh, and then your, yeah, there's your boost right there on the right side. I just pressed the gas. So I'm revving the engine just a little bit. See that? And then on the far left is charge, eco, and power. That lets you know in real time what the engine is doing. If you're cruising or if you're, um, if you're, if, if you have your foot all off of the accelerator or you're pressing the brake, it's going to go into charge mode. If you're gently pushing the accelerator, it's going to be in eco mode. If you're really pushing on the accelerator, it's going to be in power mode. Then on the far left, of course, is your temperature gauge. And now let's take a look at the dash. Over here on the left side, you can see it says P and there's a steering wheel. That's the advanced parking system. And then you have view and that's your uh, camera view system. I'll show you both of those here in just a second. There right there is going to be your charging ports and more charging ports down below. And then down inside this little box here is going to be a Qi wireless charger there on the left with a little bit of storage capacity right there on the right side of that cup holders and then here is your shifter. Now your shifter in this is going to be a little bit different. You can see right now I'm in park because that is lit up and you can see that what you need to do with this little stalk is going to be right here. So you can pull it left and then down or pull it left and then up or you can just pull it straight back. If I pull it left and down that goes into drive. You can see right there that's lit up now. If I pull it left and then up that goes into reverse at which point the camera comes up because I'm now in reverse. And then I can also um, pull it straight back and that goes into neutral. Then right here is going to be brake hold that lets you sit still without your foot on the brake at a stoplight park and then traction control off. And then right here is going to be like multi-terrain mode. Uh, that's that's a, a pretty cool little button right there. That is on the dash right now and it's in green. Now it's off. Now we're taking a look at this beautiful screen that's right in the middle of the dash in the RX. I'm gonna press this button here and that takes you right to your map. I don't wanna get started. Um, so I don't want, well, hold on, let's see what get started means. I think this is gonna try to make me sign up for something and I don't own the vehicle, therefore, nope. Let's, let's, let's go back. So this would normally be your navigation system. We're going to go down here to radio. And so you can see here, it says favorites. This is going to be all of the favorites that you have set right there, right here. And this is all going to be right now, uh, the XM Sirius XM satellite radio. You can go to tune right here and you can manually input for, let's just say nine, two, three. That's a local station, tune to station. And then there is 
uh, the radio station right now that's Rock 92. Isn't that cool? So that just takes me right to that. And you can see the little heart here that that indicates that is a favorite. So oh. then uh, we can go back here. There's AM, FM, XM, and then tune that you just saw. Of course, here is your volume control. You know something that I really like about this is that down here along the bottom of the screen is going to be your controls for your heated seats, heated steering wheel, the sinking of the rear and the front climate right there. That's in the screen but it's not a part of the net of the screen that is always there so these buttons are always there yes they are digital and they're touch sensitive but at least the important things like the dials for your climate controls and the dial for the volume is not touch screen so i love that lexus has done this right in making the most important things that don't need to be touch screen not touch screen connected device there's bluetooth and then right here are going to be the drive mode settings so normal sport eco and custom this is so cool this is going to be a lot of fun to do especially in this vehicle since it's a performance vehicle uh, you're going to see sport mode right here and i don't know if you can see this or not but the end right now the engine is lit up in red so are the shocks and the struts and the steering wheel and the front and the rear motors so what that's telling me is that all of those right now are going to be maximized to achieve sport mode the most fun to drive the suspension is going to be stiffer the steering wheel is going to be tighter the engine and the accelerator is going to be more sensitive and right now above the speedometer is a tachometer right now and everything turned red that is so cool normal is just normal nothing is colored in right here at all and then eco and that's going to be your engine your front motor and your rear motor are going to be now in blue you can also customize it to give it a certain feel based on powertrain suspension steering and air conditioning right now everything is normal so if you want the suspension to be stiffer and everything else to be normal then that's all you do so now the suspension in normal mode the suspension is going to be stiff and everything else is going to be normal isn't that cool so there's your heads up display controls that's where you can change the brightness and the customization of the heads up display you can make it standard or you can customize what it shows so we're going to actually go full with that and say okay you can also turn it and you can move the display up and down meter display switching stoplights display and so this is actually what comes up on your dash whenever you're driving ev indicator rev indicator and that's what comes up on your heads up display lights auto sensitivity is normal so when your headlights are in automatic mode as the sun is going down normal is is how when they're going to cut on if it's on brighter the headlights are going to cut on sooner if it's darker the headlights are going to cut cut on darker as the sun is going down whenever the headlight uh, stalk is in auto mode illumination theme silky white so this is the interior illumination of the rx god look at that isn't that cool so you can customize what color is inside the rx while you're driving at night i'm going to do sunset that is just so cool brightness all zones super bright door control automatic unlock so this is telling you that the doors are automatically going to unlock whenever you shift it to park you can make it automatically unlocked by the driver's door or you can cut that feature off i like that to press unlock lock when the door open all that boarding and exit custom drive mode there's just so much here that you can do i really recommend um, customizing this whenever you first get one of these so that you can maximize all the little cool features that really put your fingerprint in your vehicle rear seat reminder do you want to leave that on or off I always recommend leaving that on in case you have a, a kid in the back or an animal in the back or something. You want a little reminder to check the back seat? There it is. Leave it on. Why not? It's just a, a safety situation. So that's a brief overview of the uh, big, beautiful display right here in the RX. I absolutely love that. Now the drive of the RX 500, I'm really excited about this because I've always wanted an RX that was a performance RX. I think there is a demand for that uh, because SUV segments are the most popular segment and why not make a vehicle that will perform and that will you can have fun in and you can drive just like a fun sedan. 
this is the one. The gear shifter, I really, really like this gear shifter. It's small, it's compact, it's out of the way, and it's easy to use. You push left, you pull down, now we're in drive. You can see D right here on the dash. I'm gonna go to this little car setting right here. We're going to tune it to sport. There's a tachometer on my dash right now. Everything is red. We are ready to go. And so now we are in the most aggressive mode that is available on the RX. And so here we go. That is really crazy. That is crazy. Oh my gosh. It is amazing that you get that kind of a feel out of a four cylinder. Of course, it's turbocharged and you have assistance from front and uh, rear electric motors. But holy cow, I don't know if you could hear that sound, but it sounds amazing also. Uh, it, it doesn't sound like a little tinny silly little four-cylinder that's incredible you would also expect that there's going to be turbo lag but no because of the electric motors they actually fill the gap of the turbo lag that you would normally experience in a turbo without the assistance from any electric motors that is crazy I absolutely love this I know for a fact that <laughs> if I if I had this thing I would always stay in sport i would get terrible fuel economy but you would always see a great big smile on my face that is that's insane and it's hanging in that high gear because we're in sport mode so it's going to maintain that high gear just in case we want to do this again oh my goodness that's like unlimited power. It almost feels like a continuous variable transmission, but you can also feel it changing gears as well. That is beautiful. Holy cow, I love how that feels. All right, so we have paddle shifters here. I'm in fifth gear now, there's sixth. Ooh, there's a little display on the dash and there's like this red light that, that does that every time you change gears. That's cool. I don't know how much of that engine sound is being piped in through the speakers, but I have a feeling that some of it is, but it sounds like if, if you could be in here with me, you would, you would agree that there, it sounds like it's two different sounds. One, and it's almost like it, there's a sound coming from electric motors and also a sound coming from that little four cylinder engine. But I, I, I don't, I don't know. It's like it's two people harmonizing to sing a song. That's literally what this sounds like. And if you were here, you would agree. It, it, that is interesting. Out of a four cylinder. This is the way to do it. This is the way to do performance things is to use batteries and to use electric motors and to use four cylinder engines. I'm sure you could get a lot more power out of this if you put bigger motors, electric motors and bigger battery packs and everything. Then if you imagine if you incorporated a V6. The cool thing about the RX is that it's got all the performance aspect of it that you have seen. Zero to 60 is just beautiful. It's It's got the torque, it's got the power, it's instant and everything. But let's don't take away from the fact that it's still an RX and it still is super luxurious. It's easy to drive. Let's just flip it back into normal mode. Now there's going to be less response from the throttle. So you're going to have to push the throttle down a little bit more in order to achieve speed. No problem. That's just a beautiful thing. It's just normal driving. I came to this cul-de-sac because I want you to see the um, turning radius. So I'm going to go right. I'm going to completely lock it right here. Good golly. Look at that. Holy cow. That is unbelievable. Look at that turning radius. Did you see that? That is the tightest turning radius I've ever seen on an RX. So what that tells me is that functionally every day, this thing is gonna be beautiful to drive in and out of parking lots and tight spaces, no problem. Great size, bigger vehicle, 
power, fuel efficiency, four cylinder with turbo, beautiful turning radius, plus the reliability of a Lexus, the luxury of the quietness. Need I say more? So for the longest time, Lexus has had a self-parking feature. I remember when the self-parking came out on the uh, LS years and years ago, we actually had a local news station come to the dealership and they actually um, filmed it and you know and all that stuff and they said oh my gosh look at this new technology it's absolutely amazing and it, it it was fine but it is nowhere what this is now this self parking that this thing has now has been absolutely perfected i have actually practiced it several times and i've done it in parking lots that have been totally empty i've done it in parking lots that have had uh, a lot of cars there i've done it in parking lots where the lines are still a little faded and it does it beautifully every time so now let's take a look at this advanced parking system in the rx and on other lexus models and i think that you will also see that it is so easy to use and you would feel totally confident in using it in in a parking lot here's why it's fast it's accurate it doesn't take forever it's not going to hold up traffic and it works and you only really have to push one button so let's take a look at that right now okay so now let's use the advanced parking system i'm in a parking space or i'm parking lot i want to park in a space i'm in drive i pull up to the area that i want to park in kind of parallel with the the place that i want to park and then i just hit this button it finds the space check that out now you can see here that's where i'm sitting right now this is where i'm going to end up so all i have to do is hit start now it says release brake to move i see the lines on the parking lot and it automatically started my turn signal. I'm going to release the brake, not touching anything. It's highlighting where it's gonna put me, dark blue. Advanced parking finished, perimeter scan to let me know I'm in the space perfectly, overhead view, I'm in the space to the left and to the right exactly where I'm supposed to be. How incredible is that? Okay, everybody, that's going to do it for our look at the 2023 Lexus RX 500H. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And again, I would like to say a huge thank you to Flo Lexus of Greensboro for the opportunity to shoot this vehicle. But remember, the most important thing of all, everybody, have a wonderful day.